SpaceX's Starlink is a satellite internet service provider that aims to revolutionize the way we access the internet. Starlink uses a network of satellites that orbit the Earth to provide high-speed internet access to even the most remote locations on the planet. The network of satellites is being developed and launched by SpaceX, the private space exploration company founded by Elon Musk. In recent news, the National Science Foundation NSF, has reported that Starlink is currently being tested in Antarctica. The increased bandwidth provided by Starlink satellites will be useful for scientists working in the McMurdo Station, the most populated area in Antarctica. The residents are currently limited to 17 megabits per second link, which restricts them from using high bandwidth applications. However, the permanent presence of Starlink in Antarctica will change that. The satellite network will use a space laser network, which is on a completely different level of technology than was what typically is used in other continents. The level of technology used in Antarctica is a bit more advanced than what is used in America, which is required because there are only 11 bursts recorded in Antarctica. The permanent presence of the Starlink in Antarctica is like the sun's first rays hitting Antarctica after six months of darkness. This development has the potential to completely transform the way we research is conducted in Antarctica and open new possibilities for scientists to communicate and share data with their colleagues around the world. Starlink Satellite Network can provide high-speed internet access to even the most remote and isolated locations on Earth. The network is made up of hundreds of satellites that are constantly orbiting the planet, providing internet coverage to areas that are beyond the reach of traditional terrestrial-based networks. This has huge implications for areas with poor connectivity, where traditional internet services are often unreliable or non-existent. The testing of Starlink in Antarctica is just one example of the potential benefits of this revolutionary technology. In addition to providing internet access to remote research stations, Starlink has the potential to bring high-speed internet to rural communities, disaster areas, and other remote locations around the world. This could have a huge impact on education, healthcare, and economic development in these areas. Overall, SpaceX's Starlink is an exciting development that has the potential to change the way we access and use the internet. The recent testing of Starlink in Antarctica highlights the potential benefits of this technology and serves as a reminder of the incredible advancements that are being made in the field of space exploration and telecommunications. As the network of satellites continue to expand and improve, it will be interesting to see how Starlink's impact on the world grows and evolves. Starlink in Antarctica SpaceX's Starlink is a revolutionary internet service provider that uses a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit to provide high-speed internet to users around the world. The company's goal is to create a global network of thousands of satellites that will provide internet access to even the most remote regions of the planet. Recently, Starlink has been making headlines for its testing in Antarctica. The National Science Foundation NSF, has reported that the increased bandwidth provided by Starlink satellite will be useful for scientists working at the McMurdo Station, the most populated area in Antarctica. Currently, the residents are limited to a 17 megabits per second link, which restricts them from using high bandwidth applications. This limitation has had a significant impact on scientific research in Antarctica. With limited internet access, researchers are unable to use high bandwidth applications such as video conferencing or data-intensive research tools. This makes it challenging to collaborate with colleagues in other parts of the world and limits the amount of data that research can collect and analyze. Starlink Space Laser Network, which is a completely different level of technology than what is typically used in other continents, has the potential to change that. The network uses laser links to communicate between satellites, which allows for faster and more reliable internet connections. The increased bandwidth provided by Starlink Satellite will be a game changer for scientific research in Antarctica, allowing researchers to use high bandwidth applications, collaborate more effectively, and to collect and analyze more data. The level of technology used in Antarctica is more advanced than what is used in America. This is because the extreme conditions and limited population require advanced technology that can withstand the harsh environment. The permanent presence of Starlink in Antarctica is like the sun's first rays hitting Antarctica after six months of darkness. The potential impact of Starlink's permanent presence in Antarctica on internet servers and scientific research is significant. It could revolutionize the way researchers conduct their work in Antarctica, opening up new possibilities for collaboration and data collection. The increased bandwidth provided by Starlink satellite could also have a significant impact on other industries in Antarctica, such as tourism and logistics. 
Marine Fossils in the Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon is one of the most iconic natural landmarks in the world, known for its stunning vistas and unique geological formations. However, it's not just the majestic beauty of the canyon that has captured the attention of scientists and geologists. The discovery of marine fossils within the canyon has sparked a heated debate about the history of the region and the geological processes that shaped it. The presence of marine fossils in the Grand Canyon is a surprising discovery given that the region is now a dry, desert landscape. The fossils, which include trilobites and branchiopods, are crinoids indicate that the area was once covered by an ancient sea. However, the question remains, how did marine fossils end up in location and is now hundreds of miles from the nearest coastline? One of the most popular theories for the presence of marine fossils in the Grand Canyon is that they were deposited there during a global flood. According to this theory, a catastrophic flood covered the entire Earth. Depositing sediment and marine fossils in areas are now far from the ocean. Proponents of this theory point to the presence of marine fossils in other areas that are now far from the ocean, such as the Himalayas and the Alps as evidence of a global flood. However, this theory is not without controversy. Critics argue that there is little geological evidence to support the idea of a global flood, and that other explanations for the presence of the marine fossils in the Grand Canyon are more likely. For example, it is possible that the fossils were deposited during a time when the region was closer to the ocean and have since been uplifted and exposed by geological processes. Despite the controversy surrounding the global flood theory, the study of marine fossils in the Grand Canyon is an important area of research for geologists and scientists. According to the origin of these fossils, they can provide insight into the history of the region, including the geological processes that shaped the canyon over millions of years. Additionally, the study of marine fossils in the Grand Canyon can contribute to our understanding of Earth's ancient oceans and the evolution of life on our planet. Further research into the marine fossils in the Grand Canyon has revealed fascinating insights into the geological history of the region. One theory suggests that the area was once a shallow sea, which gradually filled with sediment and eventually became uplifted to form the canyon we see today. This explanation is supported by the presence of sandstone and shell layers within the canyon, which are characteristic of sedimentary rock formations that form in shallow marine environments. Another theory proposes that marine fossils were brought to the Grand Canyon by a series of smaller floods rather than a single global dulge. The idea is based on the observation that sediment layers within the canyon are not uniform, but vary in thickness and composition. According to this theory, the marine fossils were transported by smaller, localized floods that deposited sediment and fossils in specific areas of the canyon. Despite an ongoing debate about the origins of the marine fossils in the Grand Canyon, there is no doubt that their discovery has significantly contributed to our understanding of the region's geological history. In addition to more marine fossils, the canyon is also home to a wide variety of plant and animal fossils, which have shed light on the evolution of life on our planet. The Grand Canyon remains a popular destination for tourists and scientists alike, with ongoing research and exploration uncovering new insights into the region's fascinating geological history. As our understanding of the canyon continues to evolve, we can continue to appreciate its awe-inspiring beauty and the geological processes that shaped it over the millions of years. The Earth's Ice Age The Earth's Ice Age is a fascinating geological period in which the planet experienced significant global cooling, leading to the formation of vast sheets of ice and glaciers that covered large portions of the land. Scientists have been studying Earth's Ice Age for many years, trying to understand the various factors that contributed to this phenomenon and its impact on the planet's geological features and the evolution of the species. Two main conditions were necessary for the formation of an ice age, extensive volcanic activity and warming of the oceans leading to rapid evaporation. These two factors cause a significant increase in the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, which, in turn, led to the formation of dense clouds that reflected sunlight and caused a decrease in temperature. The resulting drop in temperature led to the formation of glaciers that covered much of the planet, including parts of North America, Europe, and Asia. The weight of these glaciers caused significant changes in Earth's surface, including the creation of deep valleys and the erosion of rock formations. The movement of the glaciers has also caused the formation of the many of the world's most prominent geological figures, including mountain ranges, canyons, and fjords. The Earth's Ice Age also had a significant impact with the evolution of species. 
Many creatures were unable to adapt to the cold and harsh conditions of the Ice Age and became extinct. However, other species, such as mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and saber-toothed tigers were able to thrive in the new environment. These animals developed adaptations, such as thick fur and large tusks, to help them survive in freezing temperatures and the lack of vegetation. Even today, there are creatures that have adapted to harsh environments, including the hot and cold deserts. One such creature is the thorny devil, a lizard in the Australian outback. This animal has developed a unique adaptation to survive in the arid conditions of the desert, including its ability to drink water through its skin and its camouflaging ability to blend in with the sand and rocks. The study of Earth's ice age and its impact on the planet's geological features and by the evolution of species continues to be an essential area of research for scientists. By understanding the factors that led to the formation of an ice age, researchers can gain insights into a complex interplay between geological, atmospheric, and biological systems that shape our planet. Starlink's permanent presence in Antarctica has the potential to revolutionize internet services in the region and greatly benefit scientific research. The National Science Foundation's report on Starlink's network is increased bandwidth in McMurdo Station highlights the limitations of current internet link in Antarctica and its impact on the high bandwidth applications. Starlink's space laser network, which is more technologically advanced compared to other continents, will greatly enhance internet services in Antarctica. Moreover, understanding the geological history of our planet is crucial for scientific research and the future of our planet. The marine fossils found in the Grand Canyon and the Earth's Ice Age are two examples of geological phenomena that provide insights into Earth history and climate. While the global flood theory proposed by some scientists for the presence of marine fossils in the Grand Canyon remains controversial, it is important to continue studying and understanding the origin of these fossils for the advancement of geological research. The Earth's Ice Age, which was caused by extensive volcanic activity and warming of the oceans leading to rapid evaporation, had a significant impact on geological features and the evolution of the species. The formation of the glaciers, for example, carved out valleys and created lakes, which contributed to the development of diverse ecosystems. The thorny devil of the Australian outback, among other creatures, serves as a reminder of the resilience of life in harsh environments. The study of geological history and the Earth's climate is important for scientific research and the future of our planet. The potential impact of Starlink's permanent presence in Antarctica highlights the importance of advancing technology to better serve scientific research and explore the mysteries of our planet. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating topic of marine fossils in the Grand Canyon. If you want to stay up to date with our latest videos and explore more interesting subjects like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you will never miss out on our latest content and continue to join us on our journey of discovery. Thank you for watching.